This could be the first generation of children in the United States that lives less than its parents. Fat, sick, and nearly dead. Sound familiar? It's the title of one of many new documentaries that have begun to expose how some of the world's most powerful processed food companies have corrupted our modern diets. And as a result, how over two-thirds of our population have become fat, sick, and nearly dead. Here are the facts. Diseases linked to poor nutrition have become the number one cause of death in America. Over 70% of all Americans are now overweight or worse, and that statistic is climbing. Healthcare and disability costs are skyrocketing at unsustainable rates. Now these so-called experts say it's our fault that all we have to do is commit to eating good food and then we're going to be healthier, happier, and thinner. But that's the deception. Because according to these documentaries, a good diet's like an endangered species. In the mid-1900s, the global demand for food production birthed a commercial farming cartel that focused its efforts on new techniques for growing food faster and bigger. The combination of genetically modified seeds with the industrial production of livestock and poultry sharply increased both yields and profits. They genetically modify food without understanding the full consequences and they don't even label it. Pesticides are actually being spliced right into the DNA of corn seeds. And today, over 85% of all corn grown in America is genetically modified. One thing is clear, industry has radically changed our food over the last 50 years. I'm looking for healthy breakfast ideas for my kids. The other day I saw this box of blueberry breakfast cereal. There's pictures of blueberries on the box, but none in the actual ingredients. How deceptive is that? Now, big industry decided it could make even more money by simply reinventing food. Combining highly processed food ingredients with chemically made sweeteners, colorings, flavorings, and preservatives created a whole new category of unhealthy products. The nutritional value of these super processed foods is so poor that one food expert refers to them as edible food-like substances. Sadly, one of the most dangerous places for your health is become your grocery store. Now, when the public turned to supplementation to fill the nutritional gap created by these corporations, industry saw yet another opportunity to capitalize on this new market. They discovered it was cheaper and, again, more profitable to develop vitamins and minerals from petroleum, coal tar derivatives, and crushed up rocks than to extract them in their natural form from whole foods. I've been in the oil industry for 30 years. I handle budgets in excess of a million dollars a day. I know how they make vitamins from petrochemicals. Do I feed them to my kids? No. I can't believe that the vitamins that I used to give my kids are made from fossil fuels. What mother would feed her child baby food if she knew it had iron filings in it? How is that even allowed? You know, I saw a recent survey that said most people think it's easier to fill out their income tax than to fix a healthy meal. It seems like almost everything that we eat has been compromised, but there's not much that we can do about it.